Welcome back to another episode. Matthew here, and I've got a really special vintage guitar in this case, and today we're gonna check it out. So I love finding old guitars like this, especially in this kind of player grade condition and documenting them here on YouTube. This one is one of my favorite guitar models of all time and it's got a really great backstory as well. This is the original black Fender Tolex case and inside we have this beautiful piece. This is a pretty rare guitar. This is actually a 1965 Fender Esquire, as you'll see by the lack of neck pickup here and just the one bridge pickup. Uh, this guitar also features a maple cap neck versus the rosewood fretboard that was standard at this time starting in 1959. The maple cap neck actually was offered as an option starting in 65. It didn't really catch on until the late 1960s, so this is a very early version and very hard to find. You'll see on the back here, it has the earlier double line Cluson tuners. And that matched with the fact that this is an es Esquire makes it a very rare, probably custom ordered guitar. Now, despite that, this guitar has had a lot of modifications over the year and has been really played heavily. You'll see the play wear on the fretboard. In fact, there's really not much finish left on the fretboard, which I love that look and on the back of the neck, um, it's just, it's like glass. And you'll see the original nitrocellulose lacquer has aged to a very orange amber color. And this is something that, uh, you know, the custom shop and everyone else tries to replicate, but really we probably likely won't see guitars like this ever again, because, you know, there just aren't the smoky bars for these guitars to be played in anymore. Um, but this guitar actually has a really great backstory. So I purchased it from the son of the possibly the original owner, but um, definitely the previous owner for a very long time. And his name was Joe Cumbus. And this is a photo of um, his band, the Cumbus Brothers. And uh, Joe was in many bands over the years, I believe from the 60s, 70s and onwards. Um, when he was a kid, he allegedly played the Grand Ole Opry. And uh, there's some kind of connection there with, with them and Colonel Tom Parker, which was Elvis's manager. It's really amazing to have this documentation with a guitar. Usually this stuff is, is lost with time. Um, and also allegedly Joe um, went on to play with Vince Gill, I guess, in the backing band and toured what I was told, uh, New Mexico and the Northwest and even up to Alaska as well, which I found really interesting. So um, an amazing story about Joe Cumbus and, uh, his 1965 Fender Esquire, which I am now the, the new caretaker of and, and really honored to be. Also, an interesting note here on the Fender case. Um, I was trying to read this. I'll give you guys a better look at it, but couldn't quite make it out. And then uh, I finally made the connection here, but it says Pearly Queen. I'm not sure what that is. I presume it's, it's a band name. It sounds like a band straight out of the 1970s. Um, if you guys have ever heard of the band or maybe of Joe, please leave a comment or, or shoot me an email, let me know. So moving on here, this guitar has a number of modifications, which I think I'll talk about here in just a minute, but I wanna go ahead and play this guitar for you guys. So like I said, this is an Esquire, so I only have one pickup. Typically these would have an Esquire circuit here for the three-way switch. It's either not working or not there, so uh, that'll probably be the subject of another episode. Uh, I wanna go ahead and get into it, but first, a little self-promotion. I released my, my third single on Spotify or wherever you stream or download music. If you wanna go check it out, I've got another single coming out May 26th, so if you'll save us or follow us wherever you listen, we'd really appreciate it, and you can find all the links and stuff down below, or I'll put it somewhere, but uh, I'd really, really appreciate that, guys. Let's go ahead and take a listen to this 1965 Fender Esquire. Thank you. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today on this 1965 Esquire. It's really a special guitar and in my favorite kind of player condition, this is really what I look for. It's got a refinished body. Who knows when this was done, but it's got some kind of brushed on, you know, um, satin type finish. Uh, it's definitely been on there a long time. It's got some amazing belt buckle rash here. You can see the original dowels, fender, used on the body, plugs, whatever you want to call them. Um, the black pit guard is not factory. They would have had a three-ply white pit guard at this time, which I think I think it really fits the guitar. It gives it a look more like a early 50s black guard, Tele or Esquire, but it's got the original bridge pickup and bridge, and you can see how much this guitar was played by the condition of the bridge. Original harness and um, knobs three-way switch, which I will probably do an episode doing some restoration work to this guitar, rebuilding the Esquire circuit so we can hear how that sounds, and probably doing a refret on the neck. Um, it has been refretted probably many times before, but they've been played down and they're, they're kind of wide and flat, so a bit difficult to play. I'll probably do a refret and uh, some other restoration work in another video on the guitar. Also, the logo was replaced at some point. So other than that, the guitar appears to be original. It's got the original strap buttons, F logo, neck plate, original double line clues on tuners, which as I mentioned, really date this guitar to 55, or I'm sorry, 65 or 66, making it a, a very early maple cap neck Esquire. Uh, which is, is really quite a special guitar. It's very lightweight, about seven pounds, ash body, just a, a beautiful piece. And I, I love Esquires because they're different. You don't normally see them. Uh, they were used by some famous players, but uh, they have a little different sound. And um, I, I kind of like to, to have something a little different. Maybe this is the one for me because um, it's, you know, it's already been modified, guilt-free, do whatever you want to it. And honestly, the neck on this guitar is frankly one of the best necks um, I've ever come across on a Fender Tele or Esquire. It, it feels unreal. You can just see how someone's played the daylights out of it. And honestly, those 50s guitars, you know, have really kind of thick, hefty necks, which I'm not really into as much anymore. Um, by 58-ish, 59, they start to come down, but um, this guitar has just like a really medium C-shape, kind of slim C-shape, and it's it feels best to me. So um, as much as I love 50s golden year guitars, in the 60s, they kind of slim down the necks, and I don't know, kind of like them better. So might this be the one? 
I don't know. I'm gonna play it a little bit more for you guys um, as I close this video out. Drop a comment if you know any information on the previous owner of this guitar or the previous bands that were mentioned. Check out my new song, Are We All The Same? It's out now. I've got three singles out. The next one dropping May 26th. Um, I'll also go ahead and mention I've been working on some merch that's gonna be dropping. Um, it may be available by the time this video comes out. If you wanna purchase anything, it supports me what I'm doing here and making these videos and also making my music. Um, that's, that's really my passion. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>